Good morning. So we're going to go to the airport this morning. We're going to do some aviation things today. We've got harvest done and we still got equipment that needs cleaned up, but we're going to spend the day today cleaning up the airplane. When we got done seating, we basically pushed it in the hangar and closed the door and moved on to harvest out at the farm. So uh, it's time to get back out here and start cleaning up this airplane. We did stop the airport last night and turn on the heat or turn up the heat. We normally just keep it at about 35 degrees just to keep things from freezing. And uh, so we're gonna go out here and clean things up. Uh, we will at some point start tearing out the old Dynanav GPS system. We were at uh, the Mid-States Aerial Applicator Conference last week and ended up buying a new system. The new system is the Ag Pilot X system. And they're in their, I don't know, fourth or fifth year maybe, but they've kind of gone through that two to three year buggy period where they're trying to work out all the bugs in the system and talking to the guys that run it. They've been having really good luck with it now. So um, I was interested in, in the Satlock Falcon. Uh, it is a lot more expensive system, but it's a newer system and it's, from what I hear, is having some uh, glitches or bugs or whatever. So uh, they're still within that two to three year period where things are kind of buggy and need extra work and I'm not willing to put that in the airplane and then have to, our season is so short here that I can't be dealing with a system that is going to be buggy and glitchy. So we went with the Ag Pilot X. We're going to take the Dynanav old antiquated system out of the airplane and put the Ag Pilot X in. But uh, today we're going to start cleaning the airplane because it is a filthy mess and we will show you that when we get in the hangar. So, you can see the leading edge on the wings, the bugs, I mean, this thing literally got shoved in the hangar and the door closed. So it is filthy, filthy, filthy. This is gonna be a good test for that release ultra cleaner. That's turbine dust, turbine dust, that is turbine exhaust on that wing. And that is hard to get off. Like a Dawn dish soap or something like that will not even touch it. So we're gonna start cleaning this thing up. Doesn't look too bad, but if you look close, there's, there's a lot. It, it needs a lot of work. You start looking on any of the forward facing edges and she's just a little bit neglected, needs some love. So we're gonna spend some time today uh, cleaning it up and getting her shining again.
putting on the new GPS system. This is part of the DynaNav system and it will need to come off. There's that. That's just a rubber grommet that I can take out and get that connection down through there. Uh, let's see. hardware up here because I'll hopefully be able to use it for the uh, next light bar. This is called the light bar. This is what guides us across the field. It'll uh, keep you within one foot increment. So if you're even one foot off your line, it'll tell you that. So that keeps us in line going across the field. No, we don't have autopilot to steer across the field for us, although that would be wonderful. Uh, we don't have that. And I think there would be other problems with that. You're too close to the ground to be having autopilot or something trying to steer you across the field. You need to stay in control of the airplane when you're that close to the ground. Just my opinion. And then the Pawnee at some point, I've got a Satlock Bantam, old reliable system that I just sent in to have updated and new internal battery put in it and that uh, we'll put in that Pawnee. Probably only have that Pawnee maybe a couple years and we'll probably sell it and move that pilot into a bigger airplane potentially. That would be that. So that's the front, that's the side I see when I'm flying. All sorts of little lights and numbers and fun stuff in there. Manufactured in Canada. So in order to get to that wire for that light bar, I have to pull off this panel right here. And I've got it clean, so I'm gonna take it off. Right now I'm not gonna take off any panels that are not clean. I wanna get stuff cleaned up first. But left, the concentrate for the cleaner at home. So I'm just trying to fill up my time here before lunch and keep busy out here doing something until lunchtime and then I'll grab it at lunchtime and bring it back. I'm gonna take that panel off. Get this. You see where that wire comes down through and of course then it goes towards the other side. So I took the wrong panel off. I need to take the other side off so I can get to the wires easier. That's all right. I'll take that one off now. There's Gracie in my jacket staying warm. Good girl. She's all set up, got everything she needs. So there's where the wire goes through the firewall. But yeah, definitely need this side off so I can reach things a little bit easier. And we'll have to uh, Take another side panel off and just keep tracing, tracing it back to the cockpit. And keep my hands out of the way while I'm doing this. Just a little rubber grommet that goes in there. And slide over the wire. Plug the hole. Now that will go through. Fell somewhere. There's nothing critical below it, so I just fell straight down on the battery box. So there's another one right there to go through back here, and yeah, we'll have to trace it 
all the way back to the cockpit, but not a big deal. All right, so it looks like that Phillips screws, there's nuts behind that hold that in place. So that will be where the new one goes. And we gotta get this off here first. And it looks like once I get it loose, I'll be able to get all them wires loose and get them back out of there. So, since Dynanav is manufactured in Canada, my 7 16 and 3 8 didn't work. It ended up being a 9 millimeter. And I'm going to use a cordless drill to speed things up a little bit. Okay, that one's off. And these are going to be a little bit, not too bad. I can reach it. trying to put the new one in and trying to get a, a nut on that up there will be fun. But we'll worry about that when it gets here. He didn't think the lead time on it would be very long. I mean, other than the iPad that it comes with. It's all, everything's manufactured here in the United States. And as of right now, they're doing okay on parts availability and stuff like that. So we're going to wash her. And so now I will attempt to take stuff apart here. Maybe I'll, oh, look at there. I got lucky. Oh, now the inside one's turning. That's perfect. Okay. Not sure how these things work. Once again, as in past projects, if you hold your tongue the correct way, things will work. Now. That is the GPS antenna wire that does not want to come apart. This is going to be tricky. There it went. That would have been a disaster if that wouldn't have came loose. Okay. So I believe, I don't think there's another computer in here anywhere. I believe that is it little uh, stick down here. Okay, that's the Dynanav system. So what I did while you guys were away, I took this panel off, which is just a bunch of these screws. Took that off so I can get back in behind here, and which allowed me to get to these must be for like flow control, stuff like that, which this plane did not have on, but it will have on when I get done redoing the new, putting the new system in. But these are just all the GPS wires and stuff and that I need to get to and it just gained me better access. I got to get this GPS antenna wire out of here. That goes up through here out there and up here. So this GPS antenna for this one is on the top of the cockpit. Um, the new one actually will be on top of the light bar out on the cowling. So it's be a little bit different. I'll have a hole here I'll need to plug up because we're not going to have one up there anymore. So. There's that. I'll just have to take this channel off and get it out of there. But yeah, so we'll, there's the antenna up there that I need to take off next. I'm going to start with. 
So I got my tool girl in here. She's got to hold uh, the nuts on the bottom here with the wrench while I go up above and take the screws out. So we'll work on that next. Boy, it's dirty up here. Apparently somebody doesn't get up here and clean off the top of their cockpit very much. All right, here we go. All disassembled down there. All right, see your fingers. Okay, so we'll just have to get that. We'll put some bolts in there, some sealant, and moving on. This Dynanav system will be for sale, by the way, if anybody's interested. And you put it on your lawnmower, that way you have nice straight lines across your yard, something like that. Gotta get it all organized so I can take some nice fancy pictures and put it on Facebook Marketplace. I think that would be awesome if you put it on your lawnmower and Thank you. You'd have like the most perfect mowing lines in your yard ever. All right, so one thing that is nice about this dash, I'm gonna try and film this, and I don't know if that ram mount might be in the way, but if I release that, and I think it might pop out of there. That should, yeah, it's in the way. But anyway, I can move that. I can fold this down like that one is, and I can get to my wiring a lot easier. So I'll have to get a flat screwdriver and get that moved out of the way, but that will allow me to get in behind there because I've got wires going down here, and it looks like, I'm gonna guess they're going to the if I take the outside panel out, there's a bunch of uh, power blocks out there under the skin that things are wired into. So I'm assuming that's probably where that's going, but the thing is, it's all, I gotta get all these zip ties cut. It's, those are the wires going up for the, for the uh, windshield wiper motor. And yeah, just a lot of work here to do, so just, kind of need to get this all cleaned up and I, I'm it's not really a rat's nest I mean things are kind of in here decent but I just got to get all these wires out of here from the old system and then there'll be uh, wires that go underneath because you got buttons on here that control you know when you get done with one pass you click the button to go to the next pass so those wires come out underneath not these but they'll be under the cockpit here those will be wires that need to be taken out too but I need to re mark them well because I'm going to have to mark the new system too. So I'm still going to need, uh, that's the main button I use for advancing my swath, technically is what they call it. So a lot of wiring to do here yet. And then we'll have the mechanic look it all over when I get done and make sure he's happy and, and make it all official. So don't quote me, but I think all that electrical is under that panel, so I need to take that out. Um, just to know, I know we've talked about this before, but this black stuff went all the way up here, and it was really black up there. And that's how that uh, cleaner that we use works. And we're not sponsored by Release Cleaner, but hey, if they would like to sponsor us, that'd be great because we get a lot of turbine dust on our aircraft and
wires here are the ones that come out of the bottom of the uh, control stick and we'll have to get that wired up for the new system but we'll get these removed for the Dynanav and rewired for the new system uh, I've got the wire from the light bar I brought it in the left side underneath the hopper and back this way because my hub uh, my control unit is going to be on the wall inside of the cockpit here so we'll probably end up going there's a couple different access points into the there's one there but we'll just have to get all these wires routed they can you know they can run through through there whatever and then we'll zip tie everything tight so that's why i brought that wire in this to bring it over to this side so we can get to that control panel that'll be right here this wiring is for the control for the hopper lid and the auger so i got to work around that it's actually mounted right here so i think i'll mount the hub below it and angle it out at a 45 degree angle so it'll come out below it but that'll be in a different video that'll be the install video so this should complete the uh taking out of the dynanav system and just you know like after seeding look at all the seed and stuff that's in down here you know so this thing just needs totally cleaned up um cleaned up taken care of and now's a good time i'm gonna get my mechanic to do the airframe annual inspection so as long as we have a lot of the panels off anyway he just will come in here and do the annual inspection for the airframe so we'll get that finished up but this should complete the video for this week thanks for watching